Is there pain? Yeah. Can I pray for you? I'm a pastor from Dallas. She don't like church. I just think that the truth is boring. That that what? Boring. That Christianity is boring. When you meet somebody that doesn't want to hear about Jesus, you have to ignore what you hear, ignore what you see. You have to plow through it and you have to sow into it. I was a drug addict and an atheist for 22 years. And I saw all the church stuff and made me mad because I thought they're just after your money. They're all hypocrites, they're all liars. So I understand because I was there. I'm sorry for what you saw in the church. It hasn't been good. I saw it too. I hated it. But once I met him, he changed my life. He took me from an animal and made me a father. He took me from a boyfriend that didn't care about anything and made me a husband that cares about everything. He took me from being lost to being found. He took me from blind to being able to see. And God loves you guys so much. Not everybody that you're going to encounter is ready, but God knows who's ready and who's not. It says some sow, some water, God brings the increase. If you never sow and if you never water, there can never be increase. Religion makes me go to a building and try to follow rules that nobody else can. Relationship is different to where now God wants to know me and He loves me. That changed everything. What we must do is that we must be born again. What that means is you can't go into your mother's womb again. What that means is that God wants to give us a new spirit. And He doesn't give you religion. He gives you a personal relationship with God. Have you guys ever said, Jesus, I want a relationship with God and I want you to come and make your home in my heart. Would you guys pray with me? Would you pray with me? No, you don't have to. It's okay. Would you guys pray with me? Let's go. Let's go. Just, come on. Just say this with me. Lord Jesus, I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and that He died for our sin. And right now, we ask you to forgive us of our sin. Can I pray for your foot before you go? It's okay? It's okay. Let me pray. Every bit of pain, I thank you that you'd relieve this and that all the muscles and tendons and ligaments would be healed. I thank you, Father, that you'd show her how much you love her and care for her. In Jesus' name, amen. That no hurt, no pain. Thank you, guys. Bless you. Good night. Amen. So Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus, God, for complete healing in her foot. I thank you that you would touch her bones, her tendons, her ligaments, that they would be healed in Jesus' name. I thank you that two out of four people gave their hearts to Jesus today. And I thank you that the other two will have to process because that girl didn't say yes and her boyfriend didn't say yes because his girlfriend was there. But Father, thank you that tonight on his bed, you reveal yourself to his heart and he surrenders to Jesus because Jesus is Lord. I'm not the only one out here talking about Jesus. So what happens is I'm going to sow a seed. Someone's going to come by and water it. What I did was sow a seed in a girl that would never listen to the gospel. She listened to it tonight. So then someone's going to come in right where I sowed and they're going to go ahead and water that thing. And all of a sudden, boom, her heart is ready for the increase. But we got to go through the law of sowing and reaping.